For 200 years, people have tried to control the Mississippi River. The mighty waterway was known to overrun its banks. At times, such as in the Great Mississippi River Flood of 1927, the river created a calamity on a national scale. Today, the Mississippi is managed by a federal agency with a history of learning hard lessons. Water flows into the Mississippi from as far away as Pennsylvania and New York in the east and Wyoming and Montana in the west. This vast drainage basin comprises 41% of the continental United States. In seasons of heavy rainfall, the Mississippi would naturally swell and cause floods. Until the late 1800s, floods along the river were mostly left to the states to deal with. The federal government stepped up in 1879 when Congress created the Mississippi River Commission, an executive branch agency reporting to the Secretary of War. The legislation gave the commission jurisdiction from the Mississippi's headwaters at Lake Itasca in Minnesota to the Head of Passes, where it meets the Gulf of Mexico. The commission's mandate was to permanently locate and improve the river's navigation channel and take action to prevent destructive floods. Surveys were made which created highly detailed and reliable navigation maps. In the late 1800s, the commission followed a strategy of relying solely on levees built by the U.S. Army's Corps of Engineers along the banks of the river. The levees-only strategy was followed for 40 years and eventually contributed to an epic disaster. In the spring of 1927, extremely heavy rainfall, which had fallen throughout the Mississippi Basin, greatly increased the volume of water feeding into the river. As the only defense against the river, the levees were subjected to relentless pressure. They began to crumble. Flooding became widespread. The 1927 flood became the most destructive flood in American history, affecting large areas from Illinois to Louisiana. Farms were devastated and many homes were destroyed. Those most affected by the disaster tended to be poor farmers or sharecroppers who were disproportionately African-American. As millions fled to higher ground, the federal government struggled to help. In 1927, no federal agency existed to organize a recovery from the disaster. President Calvin Coolidge put Secretary of Commerce and future President Herbert Hoover in charge of the federal government's response. Hoover enlisted private help. Sprawling tent camps administered by the American Red Cross became temporary housing for many escaping the floodwaters. At some of the camps, National Guardsmen prevented black refugees from leaving. Many African Americans were forced to rebuild levees in conditions likened to slavery. Responding to newspaper reports, Secretary Hoover appointed African American leaders to investigate charges of racism in the camps. But the full report of what was called the Colored Advisory Commission was never made public. The flood and its aftermath inspired many displaced African Americans to migrate to northern cities. The 1927 disaster prompted new strategies for the Mississippi River Commission. Today, the flood risk is managed by a complex system of reservoirs, drainage structures, flood control channels, and pumping stations, supplementing 8,400 miles of levees. America's greatest river requires constant vigilance and the Mississippi River Commission is dedicated to keeping the waterway safe for many decades to come. This video was brought to you by the Public Education Project, an independent nonprofit group dedicated to improving public knowledge of the government by sharing the rich history and exciting stories of the federal agencies that serve our nation. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe now to start your journey into the fascinating history of the U.S. government today. If you'd like to delve deeper into the rich history of the Mississippi River Commission or any other federal agency, be sure to visit our Agency Histories page at publiceducationproject.org, featuring nearly 250 detailed pages showcasing the diverse stories of agencies dating back to the nation's founding. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on new videos and updates.